when we think about base of support, it's a key, asp key aspect of Bobath clinical practice and is considered fundamental to our understanding of postural control. So the ability of a person to be able to selectively adapt their motor activity and their alignment of their body segments with respect to the supporting surface and gravity provides us critical information on the ability of the individual to receive, integrate, and respond appropriately to relevant information. And is that, that is fundamental to the acquisition and development of postural control. So as bipedalism is fundamental to humans, the foot is a critical base of support. But they're often neglected or even strapped into a brace. But the sole of the foot is the boundary between the body and the ground. It comprises different types and densities of mechanoreceptors, which contribute substantially to the maintenance of postural control. These mechanoreceptors code together the spatial origin, amplitude, and rate of change in amplitude of a pressure exerted on the sole. So the foot sole has been described as a dynametric map. It's able to spatially code every pressure exerted against it, enables the detection of boundary relevant information and exploratory behavior around the body's base of support. Our pressure variations correlate with the direction and amplitude of postural responses. Reduced plantar sensation has detrimental effects on the perception of heel strike and heel pressure, as well as perceived standing position. And in an unloaded position, there's an absence of background activity in any of the cutaneous mechanoreceptors. So they have to be loaded and they have to be appropriately loaded. One also has to remember continuous loading, persistent loading will be gated out. And so that is like unloading. The central nervous system is no longer receiving that information. So when we think about base of support in humans, we've got to really think about the role of the foot and the role of the pelvis, because generally we spend the majority of our time standing and more and more we spend a lot of our time sitting. And definitely for our patients, they're spending a lot of time in sitting and therefore what is the interaction of the, of the pelvis with the base of support.